We're currently observing a number of different megatrends in the industry. Without a doubt, one of these is digitalization. This trend is leading the majority of companies to increase the degree of automation of their factories. This, in turn, is resulting in the increased use of all types of kinematic systems in machines and production lines. As machine programs and kinematic programs usually run in different controllers, an additional realm of automation within a machine or production line is opened up here. This results in the challenge of using different engineering tools and additional operating devices with different operating philosophies and requires special expertise for the different realms of automation. But isn't there an easier way to do this? The answer is yes, absolutely. Siemens provides example applications which you can use to operate different kinematic systems with a single user interface, integrated in the program for 5- and 6-axis kinematic systems, and, using the technology CPU, even integrated in the system for 2- to 4-axis kinematic systems. It's all engineered in the TIA portal, and now we'll take a look at how it all works. Here we can see the TIA portal project of the example application. Now I'll use the HMI interface to teach in a path. Here I can see my start screen and will now switch to the move function using the main navigation controls. The first thing I see here is the jog screen. What I'd like to do now is to move the robot to a defined position. To do this, I'll select the linear movement type and can then see in the various fields in gray where I would like to go and in white where the robot is currently located. To teach the current position, I'll click Teach Position once. Define a name and click Teach. This means that the point is now saved. To change the position, for example in the Y direction only, I'll read the current position and change the Y coordinates. The robot will move as long as I hold down Move. When I release it, it stops. To teach in this position, I'll now press Teach Position again and select the next available spot. Define a name. Now I'd like to change the coordinates both in the Y direction and the Z direction. So I'll change these values now and then press Move again. Just like before, I'll teach in this position by clicking Teach Position. By clicking Position List, I can see all the points I've saved, but they still don't have any path association. To define a path using these points in our point cloud, I'll select the Teach Path function. Here I can see that no points have been saved in the first path yet, so the first thing I'll do is give this path a name. Now that I've named the path, I'll copy the points which I just taught in from our global point cloud using the copy function. Now I can see that the first point has been copied to my path. I'll repeat this process for the other two points now. Finally, I still want the robot to move back to its initial position. This X shows that these points aren't fully configured yet, so now I'll open the first point and take a look at the parameters. I can see that the path end movement type is selected and will change it to linear instead. Now I can see that the X has changed to a check mark and will now repeat the entire process for the remaining points. All the points in my path are now green. To leave my path, I'll select Move Path in the main navigation controls. The first path is selected, and I can see the points which I just defined. To leave my path, I'll simply press Play, and I can see that the robot is moving. With this, I've programmed a path for a classical six-axis kinematic system. But what if I have a different kinematic system, like a Cartesian portal? I'll just choose Cartesian instead of KUKA in my selection. I can see the start screen again and that it's identical to the initial one at first glance. Using the main navigation controls, I'll select the Move function again. Once again, I can define a target position in the Jog screen. Here I can see my target position in gray and my current position in white once more. By clicking Read Current Position, I'll transfer this position and only change the Z value. The kinematic system will move as long as I hold down Move. Just like with the 6-axis kinematic system earlier, 
I'll select the Teach Position function and then select the next available position. Issue a name and teach in the position. Now I'll switch back to the position list and can see the newly taught in point in addition to the points I already taught in earlier. The Teach Path function is also available to me here, where I already created a path back at the beginning. The process is exactly the same, and that's exactly how I'll call up the path now. I can see the points and now only need to press play. With this, we've now programmed two completely different kinematic systems in the very same way. Yes, it can be this easy. With this complete solution from Siemens, we make it possible to use a wide variety of different kinematic systems with a Sematic controller and a Sematic HMI, and ultimately, the same engineering tool, the TIA portal. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.